before Joe Rogan had the entire LA comedy scene on check, making sure that everyone was nice and supportive of each other. The comedy world, the stand-up comedy world was dark and ruthless. If you think about it, Carlos Mencia was really the last person to take advantage of this old school mentality or a way of, of doing business, and he paid dearly. Now that Joe Rogan is gone, everyone is starting to trash each other openly, and even the so-called OG, f famous OGs like George Lopez are going after smaller and younger comics. You know, there's this kid blowing up right now, this, this Ralph uh, Bar Barbosa. Kid's blowing up. And I'm like, I'm praying for him. Who is I, that? Because I'm like, this kid needs a pass. I want this Never kid to get the pass. I want that kid to have it easy. I'm going to tell you this. Because we f had it hard. You harder than me. You said that kid is blowing up. I don't know who he is. Uh, how, wh where, is he, where is he from? He's from Dallas, Texas. Young kid. Very, very young. Just did the Tonight Show. Um, did one of those um, Latino HBO specials. The kid's selling out everywhere he goes now. And I think to myself, well, where's he going though? You can't say everywhere he goes. He's going to Wisconsin. Well, to he, comedy he, clubs though? Yeah, comedy club in Milwaukee. He's doing great. Yeah. And I'm rooting for him. If you're not familiar with Ralph Barbosa, he is a 26 year old comic from Texas who recently started blowing up on social media. Great stand up comic and recently was on the Jimmy Fallon show, which is insane. And unlike George Lopez, he doesn't need to lean into the Mexican shtick to get laughs again he's been killing it and a lot of his bits online on youtube get millions and millions of views which brings me to my next point there's no way that george lopez did not know who ralph barbosa was hunger getting funnier that's what's i will say i will say something about you first of all i don't think you should be worried about anybody else especially uh uh and jeremy barbo <laughs> come on jeremy barbasol that's his name i don't know who he is i don't mean any disrespect but i don't know who he is uh, but it right. is up to us to to you know the ralph barbosa's of the world the, for you easy. but nobody knows who he is well he's saying his name man uh, I, look i think he's great and i'm i'm, I'm doing is that it wrong to say Aaron? I, i'm i'm doing it <laughs> and i don't mean it mean i'm, I'm, I'm saying <laughs> the man on the payroll no no, no hey, but, whatever but, you say but, I mean, but you, you you look out for yourself that's what look out for yourself you know the, you, you the, put you putting me on this show helps me but also, if you don't deliver, I, I can't it. help you. I don't disagree. Of course. Like, if you can deliver. Do the work. I don't help those that don't help themselves. Now, something we need to point out is that Ralph is already at a point in his career that a mention from George Lopez on a podcast was not going to help at all. The George Lopez podcast got about 65,000 views, and the Ralph Barbosa Flagrant episode has over 1.7 million views, which is crazy. Now, to be fair, he wasn't in the entire podcast, but he is still on the thumbnail and the title. So it's not a situation where George Lopez did any uh, real damage, but instead is a perfect example of the old school uh, crab mentality of back in the day. And listen, who cares if somebody thinks the way he does? In fact, if somebody does do everything alone, then good for them, but that's rarely the case. And that's that wasn't the case with George Lopez. Um, I won't get into his personal stuff with the, his ex-wife and stuff. You can look that up. But he even says it himself that Sandra Bullock was the one who discovered him and gave him a spot uh, in, in her movie. Why are you stirring up so much yeah, with the bro. OGs, man. La Raza, why are you doing that, dude? Yeah. Focus yeah. pero locos, way. There's, there's oh this, God. like... <laughs> oh, my God. Dang, like, a Mexican's worst enemy is another Mexican? Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, and it's true. I don't like these Mexicans. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, um, listen, obviously there's this beef. Everybody's going around. I don't even know if it's beef. I don't think so. No, nah, this is... I, yeah, I thought yeah. it was fine. Started being on the road, and so, every now and then somebody will be like, you're the next George Lopez. Even before this George Lopez thing, my response was already like, you're f George Lopez. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Whenever somebody would yell that from the audience or any Latino comedian, they'd yeah. throw out whoever their idols were. I was like, hey, I wasn't really like coming for them. It's just that when they would name them, I'm like, I don't know. Like, Sometimes it's a funny thing to say on stage. Yeah, it's a funny thing to say. Yeah. I just think it's funny that they're just like assuming I like looked up to George Lopez. That's or something. the thing I was I wanted to ask you when you came up because you're 26. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't watching. I don't him. think you ever grew up watching him. Even when I was watching him, I was like, I don't get it. Oh come on, <laughs> nah, that <laughs> is hilarious. Yeah. That's, that's hate, bro. That's hate, bro. <laughs> it was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good hate. You gotta give it up for that's good hate. hate. Barbosa is 26 years old, which is a little bit older than me, but I did 
grow up watching George Lopez. Obviously, it was way after his uh, comedy specials had aired. But overall, I thought he was really funny and could relate to uh, some of the stuff that he would talk about. Not everything, obviously. But now, looking back, he's also a great performer. Um, personally, or as a person, I don't think I'd be too excited to meet him. But overall, he does need some respect. And he's, like, nice. I'm telling you, the dude called me after that whole thing he said. Whatever he Like, I wasn't mad when he said it. Yeah. Because, like, like, I'm telling you, like, I have, like, a whole lot of respect for him still. I'm not, I, when he said it, I'm not, like, ah, oh, what the f like, heard about it. But I also wasn't, like, whoa, yeah, who cares? It just was, like, it's a f podcast. You're talking shit. Like, yeah. so what if he said it? You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't know me, so, like... It's his. He, he knows you, my boy. But it's his podcast. Like you, you don't he, say I don't know somebody five times unless you know. Him. Yeah, unless you know. But yeah, he called me and he was like super cool. I was kind of like starstruck by it to be honest because I wasn't expecting it. But, uh, How did he call it? Was he like, like? <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Tell me about the call. What happened? He was just like, he's like, hey, Ralph, this, this is George, man, George Lopez. I was like, I wanted to call and apologize. And my first words was like, what? And I was like, my bad, man. I didn't mean to be, like, rude or nothing. It's just, like, damn, it kind of caught me off guard, you know, that he's even calling me. And he was just like, yeah, man. He's like, I just, I was kind of, like, in the heat of the moment where I just kind of shooting the shit with, with Trevino and kind of fired up about it. But I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to, like, talk badly about you or anything like that. Like, just kind of talking, you know? Like, but I apologize. I was like, you didn't have to, man. I was like, I appreciate that a lot. Like, you really didn't have to, you know? It's not, like, bugging me like that. He was like, no, no, no. He's like, I did. I had to, whatever. He's like, That's oh. decent, though, that he didn't do a public apology. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have... I don't think it had to be public at all. A lot of people online were like, hey, fuck, you slander him in public. You apologize in yeah, public. Yeah, like, yeah. nah, bro. Like, then it would have looked like he's just doing it yeah. for, for them, the people. not yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah he's just yeah. like, he's like, comic to comic, man to man. He's like, I just want to apologize, man. Yeah. He's like, you got my number. If you ever did need help with anything, you got my number now. Oh, now, George Lopez apologizing is a respectable move, and I don't think he did it out of pressure because he's been in, in many controversies, way bigger controversies before, and he didn't fold. And I agree that it was better that he did it privately, that he apologized privately. And either way, knowing or seeing now how George Lopez is, there is just no way that he was going to apologize publicly. So that's better than nothing. I also think there was some confusion on their end, or maybe they were just joking, but... It's cool. It's that Steve Trevino guy. I'm starting to think he's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. In fact, uh, uh, Steve Trevino dude was the one who was bringing up Ralph in a good way, and uh, George Lopez was uh, the one who started trashing him. But the way they framed it was as if Steve was pushing George to uh, just trash him and uh, hyping, hyping him up. Is a lot of times when people try to relate to a comedian, they, they talk about other comedians that are funny. And that's the last thing a comedian wants. So he's hearing this nonstop, and now he's on his podcast, another guy's bringing it up, and he's like, yo, what the f*** is going on over here? I'm George, let's talk about me. Maybe. He, I, I, I do know, like, at the beginning of that podcast, they were talking about, so I don't know, they, they, they went on to the subject of, like, do you... You help the younger guys, and George was like, I don't help nobody. Yeah. And then... He was probably, like, a little fired up. Yeah, that yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's one of the reasons that it didn't bug me is because he was already, like, yeah. proving the, like, I don't to help people. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can't, fuck. I, think, I yeah. feel like they could have named anybody, and he would have been like, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah. I, think it was, I don't think it was that personal. I think it was very much like a whoever it could have been. My name is Arbitrary. Is, is, that, is that how you use you that? You really stumbled on <laughs> it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I almost thought that's what your name was. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yo, arbitrary. <laughs> now, I think they're being way too charitable because George Lopez wasn't doing a bit. He And he wasn't just trying to make the people around him laugh because at some points, George Lopez even says that he only helps out people if they can back it up. Otherwise, he, they, he can't help you. But if he looks at Ralph Barbosa, he would be the perfect example of somebody to get behind especially now that he has a huge track record and, and a big portfolio of successful jokes that he has put out there. So to me, it just sounds like George did know who he was and wanted to play, off, play it off and just talk smack. And the thing is, it doesn't even matter because it's not like they're talking about him on the Joe Rogan podcast and then George doesn't want to bring up competition, which isn't even competition. The dude is like 40 years younger than George Lopez. And also, I hate bringing this up, but their channel, All Things Comedy, with over 500,000 subscribers, is not doing so well. Even himself alone, the George Lopez podcast, isn't doing so well. Now, maybe he has a huge audience somewhere else, but uh, that, I'm not aware of that. At least on YouTube, 
eh, it's not doing so well. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it's it's always tricky, man. I remember Chappelle was on on Rogan and. Uh, and Rogan is the best. He's always trying to, like, give everybody a shout-out and put everybody on. And he was like, yo, you know, you're doing... He was like, Chappelle, you're doing these great shows outside, you know, in the barn or whatever. And and uh, there's another guy who's doing a lot of great stuff online, this guy, Andrew Schultz. He's doing these videos online and turn your phone and he's writing jokes and there's images. And Chappelle just goes, yeah, I don't know about that slideshow shit. Uh, I do stand-up comedy. And it was just like... I remember watching, like, oof. He figured out a new way to do comedy. He figured out a way to do in internet, Instagram, 10-minute comedy. Well, okay, it was, it's, but, but that's not, like you say, that's not stand-up. No. Like, like, that would hurt. Damn, like, I was upset, and then I realized that, like, it's a probably similar situation where, like, people around Chappelle thinking they're going to connect with him by going, hey, have you checked this guy out? He's also funny. And he's a comic. He don't want to hear about that shit. He want to hear about how he's funny. Now, I think it's funny that Andrew is still salty about the Dave Chappelle situation, which was very minor, but I get it. Um, but not too long after uh, Ralph did the podcast, he uploaded a picture with uh, Dave Chappelle on stage, which is insane. Again, the dude is only 26 years old and is completely crushing it to be on stage with Dave Chappelle as a young stand-up comic. That's that's just wild to me. And after seeing uh, Coffee Sailor on Joe Rogan, I wouldn't be surprised if Ralph was on there very soon. And funny enough, it would be the complete opposite of what Lopez did for Ralph. At the end of the day, this only benefited Ralph Barbosa because everyone was talking about him and he got to talk about it on people's podcasts. And uh, it might have it might have ruined George Lopez for some young people. Listen, I don't expect him to go out there and help everybody, but to go out of your way to make sure that you don't uh, that's just a little bit of that's a bit extreme so because of that and other things that i've heard of him i'm not a huge fan of him as a as a person but you know you got to give him credit with, where credit is due and uh he is a great performer and was pretty funny back then and also once again it proves that if you just apologize it fixes a lot of things so carlos mencia if you're watching come on man just apologize everyone everyone loves a comeback story but yeah good for ralph uh, that he actually got is getting noticed by the biggest names out there. Um, good for him. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like. Sub subscribe to the channel to support. Um, dislike if you didn't like the video. I hope you all are having a great week. But that is all we have for today. See ya.